What's up guys? Okay, so I have a little program here I'm going to show you called WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. Now, as a disclaimer, I did get this program for free. It usually costs, it's right now, you can get it for $35.95, which is, it's up there, it's down there, it depends on your budget. I'm hopefully going to let you know whether it's worth that amount of money. It says it's usually $49.95 and it's a holiday discount, but a lot of times these holiday discounts last all year round. But I figured I'd just let you know I did get this program from the company to do a video on. So, you know, that means I'm supposed to be all like, oh, this program's amazing, and you need to go buy it and make them business. But I am just going to talk about the program, hopefully as if I did spend the money on it. So, first off, what is this program? This program is a, pretty much it's an all-in-one video conversion suite. It's pretty sweet, I know. You have the ability to convert pretty much any conceivable video type. It takes in almost, like, all of mankind's known video file formats and it will output it into pretty much the same amount of formats. So you don't it's basically will cover you in case you ever have a file and you're like, oh I don't know how to play this file and it's uh the world's coming to an end. You just you can just throw it in here and convert it into whatever you need it. I mean I had like this AVI to everything converter that would convert anything you wanted into an AVI but it only converted it into an AVI, this program will literally do every type of file. So like this file right here is an MP4, and I am able to convert it. Here are a couple of the options for PC general video. It's one topic, and you can see it's AVI, WMV, things I have never even heard of. And then you can do music, which is pretty cool. You can cut just the sound out of it, which I found a really cool use for this, which, don't do it because this is bad, but there's a really cool thing here where you can rip videos off YouTube. That's basically what it does, it rips videos, it converts the URL into things you can watch on your computer. It doesn't rip them, That that's a bad sound. But you can rip a video, and then you can rip the sound off the video, so you can like download a concert and then listen to it on your iPod because it has that file type. This photo section over here is pretty cool. You can take a bunch of photos and just make them into a slideshow. You don't even have to do any work. You just give it the photos and hit run and it'll make you a slideshow. No music though. That you are on your own. Unless I'm mistaken, but I looked around and there was no at least obvious option. Unlike most of the things in this program, there was no obvious option to add music to your slideshow. There's pretty much, that's pretty much all it, the program is, but it doesn't seem like a lot, but in actuality there is a extremely, I'm, I guess I'm underrating the amount of things it can convert to, because that's really what the program is, it's a video converter, so you should be focused more on the fact that it can convert into all of these Apple devices, like for iPhones, you know, you have every type of iPhone, you have every type of iPad, you can choose fast, slow, low quality, high quality, depending on what you want to do, and they make it really user friendly. So if I wanted to do for, like a high quality video for the iPad, but then I'm like, wait, I know how to use a computer, and there are things I want to check to make sure that it's, it, you know, good. It will let you do whatever you want to it. I mean, you pick whatever, you can choose the bit rate if you want to change the quality, choose the aspect ratio, the frame rate, the resolution, the audio codexes, and things like that. And so it kind of covers all the bases with beginner stuff and advanced stuff. Option-wise, as you can see, a whole slew of options. You can choose the output folder, and you can choose to shut down the computer. That's always a good option. Sometimes that exists, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, like, this program would be really useful if you convert a lot of videos. In which case, this option comes in handy, because 
you can sh set it to go overnight. You don't have to leave your computer on. You, you know, turn it off when it's done. You know, don't want to focus too much on that feature, but it's pretty cool. You know, it's gotten good reviews on the internet. People say like, yeah, it's good. I don't know if I would pay fifty dollars for this program. It's definitely worth money. It's definitely not free quality. I mean, I've seen some free quality stuff and they work, but this one I have never, I've converted so far about 20 videos just testing all the different types of files out to see what it looks like, and I was recording the videos with another program, and the recorded files were all, like, messed up. But on the other hand, when I was actually converting files with this, I never had one problem. The 20 videos I made, I never had one problem of like artifacts or the sound getting all messed up or it just randomly cutting out and skipping ahead in the video, which I had numerous times with another program that I will not mention. So this program works really well and it doesn't go slow. I mean, I do have a pretty powerful computer. It's not like crazy, crazy high end but it's it's definitely up there so it makes sense that it would go fast but it still holds its own in the speed category you have those options they kinda throw in a couple of extra little things if you edit the video yes horses you're able to crop the video trim how long you want the video to be add in a subtitle thing so let's say I don't know you decide you want to subtitle Japanese anime because that's a thing that a lot of people do. This can do that for you. You put in the video, you somehow know how to make subtitles, good for you, you put them in, and then it's like magic. So that's a pretty cool feature. Enough with the horses. Another cool feature, which I would demonstrate, but it, it requires a little more setup, but you're able to have multiple videos converting to different types and they have a batch mode where you can just have them convert at the same time which that you would definitely need a more powerful computer for but that is a very very useful tool as opposed to just waiting for like ten different things to convert one after the other you just have them all convert at the same time but in the end it's pretty much as user friendly of a video converting program as you get I mean you click one of these things one of the three options, you add the video, and you click run, and that's it. It's really, it doesn't require much on the user's part. I mean, it makes it really easy. I mean, anyone, you could be terrible at computers, and you say, oh, I want a PC video, or I want to put it on my iPod. So I go to iPod, and I was like, oh, iPod Touch 5, that looks good. Click run, done. It's as simple as that. So it's definitely worth buying it if you have the money and you can picture being useful I don't know I don't see anything bad about it if you're converting a lot of files this is very useful and you should definitely keep it open as an option um, if you are watching this far I will let you know that I'll be doing a giveaway for five copies of this program which the company is kind enough to give me so I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another another video for that or maybe putting something in the description for the giveaway maybe I'll do it somewhere else because videos take a lot of energy to make and we'll have to see how things work out we'll have to see if if you're interested in the giveaway just like comment with I don't know just comment with the word potato and then I'll know if people are actually interested in the giveaway so I'll be I will be giving away five copies of this program, I'm just not sure where and how, but that is for another time, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, and it gave you some insight into this wonderful, wonderful program. Um, I guess my final review, I'm not going to score it out of a number, or give it, I guess I would give it some thumbs up, depending on how many thumbs we're working with. I'm not going to uninstall it, so that should count for something. I will probably be using it if I convert other videos, but that is given the fact that I did get this for free and I didn't pay for it. So I don't have to justify, you know, I don't have to justify having to use it because I paid for it. 
I could pretty much say, yeah, I'm going to use it because I got it for free. I don't know if I can justify paying 50 bucks for it. 35, not the end of the world, and I could see it being pretty useful in the long run. So, yeah. Have a wonderful day.